A brook they howl, brook they howl shy, brook they howl, brook they howl shy, brook they howl, brook they howl shy. O presenti al bashimi al shai, wa hara kakadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone, and honor she brothers will be pushing this truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. So, this video, I'm gonna call it um, uh, something to the effect of um, the Bible is soon is gonna be regarded as a terrorist item. Okay, because what we know for the scriptures, if we start at the in the book of Mark, the thirteenth chapter, what we know from the scriptures is that in the end times, when we was gonna have wars, rumors of wars, and later on what's known as the time of Jacob's trouble, we was gonna have a situation where the elite banking families or the kings of the earth was gonna come up against the standard. That Yahweh Hashem Yahshai set up, and what was going to happen was was what happened during the time of Acts, when different apostles and teachers and prophets uh, were put into the prisons. Uh, some were stoned, like Stephen. Stephen was stoned, and he died a righteous death. Um, you know, the scripture talks about how, in the sight of men, they seem to perish. So, in that situation, which is going to be, which was like a pre precursor of what was going to happen in the times that we're living in right now uh people might think that this 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 man had died and he had died a quote-unquote worthless life but the fact of the matter is they uh they had died for the truth and when we go back into the book of revelations the 10th chapter the scriptures require that you be faithful even unto death but going back onto the point uh which is that this scriptures these scriptures pretty soon are going to be regarded as a terrorist item is because contained within this Bible is everything that you need to know about the past, the present and the future in terms of prophecy, in terms of uh, history, in terms of um, any, you know, any facet of life is all written within the scriptures. Uh, but building up on that and more importantly, you've got a situation where you got a, a, a new world order that's been trying to that's that they're trying to set up, and the Bible is in direct opposition to that. When you got it to where you got the Israelites are out there on the streets, and one of the main things is that that they say is Esau, your kingdom is going to be destroyed. What you're saying there is an anti new world order statement, and therefore anti this government, and therefore as far as they're concerned, a terrorist statement. All right. When you got it to where these so-called Islamists and Muslims, they're bringing down buildings. Okay, they're breaking down the, you know, the, the, they, you know, you ain't supposed to be doing it. All right. But when you're speaking through the scriptures and you're also saying the same, you're you're saying what the law is gonna do, and it's in the same vein, and it's in the same uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, breath, if you will, as as what's been happening with these with these Muslims. Well, then you better believe that they're going to try tie those two things together. But when we say, you know, what we what we say is that the Lord's going to do it. All right. Because we're not the ones that are the forgers of our own fortune. The Lord's the one that's going to forge the fortune for us in that the Lord's going to send his, uh, the, Yahweh, the Mosai is going to send his son. And in sending his son, as spoken about within the book of uh, as Second Ezra, the 13th chapter, his son is going to take down... Uh, Esau and he's going to take down the other nations matter of fact when you go into the book of revelations the scriptures say that in righteousness righteousness doth he make uh, um, war he was going to make war with the heathen nations in righteousness and take them out of the position that they're in right now of um, ruling uh, and ruling in wickedness and he was going to establish a, a kingdom that was going to be uh, forever which was going to be in righteousness this is spoken about within the book of Daniel, the seventh chapter, and also to the book of Daniel, the second chapter on the 44th verse. Uh, the book of Matthew, uh, Mark, rather more, uh, 13 and 7, it says, And and when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, uh, be ye not troubles, for such that must things must needs be, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise up against king nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginnings of sorrow. And this is the times that we're living in right now where we've got the beginnings of sorrow, where you've got earthquakes all over the place, where you've got rumors of war all over the place, 
and so on and so forth. Okay, so he says, but take heed uh, to yourself that you shall, de uh, for they shall deliver you up to the council. Now, this happened in the past, but it's also going to happen now in the times that we're living in right now. Because you're saying, when you're reading the Bible, when you open the scriptures and you say, uh, you go to the book of Malachi, the first chapter, and you're going into how Esau was going to build up this place that you know as America, Britain, and so on and so forth. And you say there was going to be an extraterrestrial uh, body that was going to come down and destroy all of that. That's anti this, uh, um, uh, uh, this system. Okay, that's a terrorist type system, uh, saying. In fact, the proof of that is you got it to where Trump, Trump is not inviting, you know, the ex extraterrestrial beings that's going to destroy this planet into the earth. He's set up a, a, a new a space force against such a, um, uh, such a thing. And that's going to fulfill what is spoken about within the book of Revelations, the 12th chapter, where the scripture says, Michael and his angels shall fight against the dragon and his angels. So when you're reading these scriptures and you're saying that, well, you're going on the side of those extraterrestrial beings, that being Yahweh Shai, that's going to come into the earth and, and, and basically destroy the earth. Okay, as far as these people are concerned, you're a traitor. But in the eyes of the Lord, we're down for the cause, man. Because ultimately, you might call it extraterrestrial being. Well, the Lord was, he was in the flesh when he was on the earth and he left in the flesh. And he's coming back to reestablish his throne. Uh, you know, you go to the book of uh, uh, Amos, the ninth chapter on the ninth verse, it talks about the tabernacles of David being set up. Well, who's going to be uh, uh, above uh, King David? It's going to be Yahweh Shai. And above Yahweh Shai, it's going to be Yahweh. And they're going to rule the earth and they're going to rule the earth in, in righteousness. But what these people have established, which is the, the wickedness and the evil, the adul adultery, idolatry, uh, the fornication, all of that, everything that's pushed within this society, the Lord's going to destroy. He's going to, he's going to, He's going to do away with it. And as far as, that's why the scripture says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. For what's in the world? The lust of the flesh, fornication, and so on and so forth. And you get caught up in it. You can find yourself getting in trouble. But that's why the scripture says, love not this world. Because when you don't love this world, one, you're not going to be in in, 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 uh, in a position where you're, you know, you're um, compromised. And two, you're going to be in a position when the Lord comes back and he does away with this society. You're not going to feel some type of way. Remember the story of Lot's wife and how she turned back. Well, she was caught up with the, with the, with the um, affairs of Sodom. But see, Lot had to keep it moving. And therefore, the Lord destroyed what? He destroyed uh, 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 Lot's wife. And she, she's still standing there as a pillar of salt, of salt unto this day. Okay? But you've got to have your mindset out of this, uh, this kingdom because it's going to be destroyed. And, you know, the, inst you know, and, and the instrument you use to, 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 uh, to push that is the scriptures. So, in effect, these scriptures are like a, they're like the, the, the manuscript, okay, that's like against this uh, 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 society. All right, so let me read this again. It says, uh, but take heed to yourselves, for they shall deliver you up to council, and in the synagogues you shall be beaten, and you shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake, uh, for a testimony against them. All right, so that's what's going to happen. We're going to be, we're going to be out there, man, <laughs> raw. Okay, and, you know, some, some brothers are going to have to, have to be put to death. But as you're going to see within these scriptures, the scripture says that what? You're supposed to be faithful unto death. Uh, Revelations 2 and uh, 9, uh, 10. And I read this scripture yesterday in the video that I did yesterday. When we read it again, Revelations 2 and 9, it says, Fear none of these things uh, which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Uh, the deceiver Esau, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death. Which I'll buy Shimmy Hashai Rutters and he puts, man, if I gotta go through that, then I pray he puts the spirit upon me to be faithful unto death. And the scripture says, you know, you're gonna have a reward, which is the crown of life. And that goes hand in hand, like I said yesterday, that goes hand in hand with the scriptures. So that's a heavy spirit. Okay, see how the spirit brought that particular scripture out again? All right, so that's that's a spirit, that's that's a that's a particular spirit that the Lord must want out. But uh going back onto this the video. Uh, you know, that's the reward, the crown of life. The scripture says that he that loses his life shall gain his life. And he that seeks to gain gain his life, meaning to say you're seeing uh, these rappers, athletes, and you want to be like them. The Lord said you was going to lose your life. All right. When he comes and he destroys this place, you wasn't going to keep your Mercedes Benz, your Ferrari, and transpire that into the kingdom of, Lord, of the Lord after doing all of the, the wickedness that you had done. 
No, I'd rather the contrary. All, all your riches were going to be burnt away. And, and as for your gold, it was going to be transferred unto the righteous. Okay, it was going to be given unto the righteous. So, you know, that's the video. Uh, Lord's will is of edification. That I must say, oh, praise unto you, Abba, Shemia, Hashai, Waharu, Kakadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone. Ownership of us will be pushing the truth in sincerity. Shalom.